Hi, we are Dane and Alet from iColix and in this video we will show you the most beautiful places, the most challenging hikes and the most rewarding views we saw in 2022. And with this video we hope to inspire you to go outdoors as well. Now on to the 2022 recap hike edition. So let's start with the longest trail we hiked this year and that is the Tour de Mont Blanc. It's 170 kilometers long around the Mont Blanc Massif and it goes to France, Italy and Switzerland. And with 10,000 meters of elevation gain, it was quite a challenge. And let's talk about our best day hike in 2022. That was in Passy National Nature Reserve here in France. We call it the Yosemite of Europe. This hike was so rewarding. It was lots of climbing and declining and the views on top are just incredible. Within this day hike we had the feeling that we escaped society within just a few hours. The highest point of 2022. The highest point we reached while we were hiking was on the Col d'Avour at an altitude of almost 2700 meters. We're at the highest point right now, almost 2700 meters, and it's pretty windy. <laughs> it was on our fourth day of the Tour de Mont Blanc after a very rewarding climb the day before. However, we were even higher on the Aiguille de Midi at an altitude of almost 4000 meters. 3,842 meters to be precise. That's if we count cable cars. Yeah, and if we have some French people watching by the way, let us know if we pronounce Aquil de Midi the right way. We'll love to know your feedback on that. I think it's even called Aquil de Midi. Aquil, Aquil, Aquil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's go to the most challenging trail mentally. Hiking trails can also be mentally challenging. We could talk about that for hours and hours, of course, but in this video, we will just review you our most challenging hike, the Koenslede. Physically for us, this trail wasn't demanding. It were long stretches with not much climbing and we were well trained. However, it was mentally demanding for us. Yeah, we are used to seeing different mountains and landscape within every few hours in the high elves. We were at the TMB, but here in Sweden, every landscape is vast. It is absolutely beautiful, but some days we woke up and when we were packing our tent and looking at the way ahead of us, we already could see the end destination of that day, which was like 25 kilometers ahead of us. For me, it was super challenging because I was feeling a little bit homesick at that time. I really miss my family in the Netherlands. That combined with the intense silence for days in a row and the endless landscapes, the Kungslede was mentally challenging for me. It is really, really, really quiet on the Kungslede. If you haven't been there, you have to experience it once because it's really quiet. So what was the most challenging trail physically for us? That is of course the Tour de Mont Blanc. I already said it in the beginning of this video. It's 170 kilometers long with 10,000 meters of elevation gain and you climb every single day. Yeah, and we prepared big time for this trail, trained a lot and lived in the mountains for six months before starting this trail. We heard from multiple people we met along the trail that they had to stop because the trail was too demanding on their bodies. Now let's head over to the most fun hiking trail we did last year. It was actually a section hike. It was the ladder section of the Tour de Mont Blanc. It was an absolute blast. Yeah. The famous stairs. The famous stairs. I always thought that it were only like three stairs because everybody only films probably the first three. But I think it are like... 10, 10 ish. 10, we're not there yet. No. So a few steps, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, this part was a little bit more technical than just hiking, but nothing too scary. This part of the Tour de Mont Blanc trail is also possible to do as a day hike as well. Now, let's go over to our most surprising hike we had in 2022. The people who saw our Father Sam video know that the beginning of the day didn't really go as planned. We missed our train stop and stepped out at the train at the completely wrong place. We decided to just follow a random trail in order to find our original starting point of the trail. The hike to reach that point was incredibly beautiful and we even saw a snake. Sometimes you forget when you're in Europe there are still snakes. Well, <laughs> and I heard Dane scream and it was like the highest pitch I ever heard. <laughs> yeah, for the people who missed that video, really make sure to check it out. We had a lot of fun over there. 
Let's talk about Trail Magic. Magic! <laughs> trail Magic is a wonderful act of people who will help you along the trail. In the state, it is more well known. People who like the Pacific Crest Trail, the Continental Divide Trail, or the Appalachian Trail, or any other long distance trail, will experience Trail Magic. Yeah, it's the kind act of people who are not hiking the trail, but provide the hikers who are hiking the trail with water, they cook hamburgers for instance, or they give you a ride to the nearby town. So, our first Trail Magic! My brother Chris picked us up on a section of the TMB. The weather was really terrible when we had to climb a big mountain pass to reach Switzerland. And right when we were about to start the ascent, a big thunderstorm flew Woo! over, so we couldn't cross it anymore. Yo, Thanks luck. bro! Good luck with the hike. Yeah, and luckily my brother Chris was actually in the Chamonix area during that time, so he picked us up and drove us to the other side of the mountain. And thanks again, Chris. Big shout out to you. Yeah, and actually we had a second trail magic moment this year. Maria brought us back from the end of the Hoge Kustelede back to Ernschildsvik so we could get to the public transport system of Sweden. Yeah, Maria is working for the Hoge Kustelede Trail Association and we met her on our first day of the Hoge Kustelede. And when we finished the trail, she was so kind to pick us up. And now on to the most memorable moment of 2022. It was seeing Caddy and David for us on the TMB. Yeah, it was our last day on the Tour de Mont Blanc and we saw a kind of wasp or a beetle. We're still not sure what it was, but there were some random people walking behind us and we decided, okay, let's just ask them. Yeah, and then they asked us, are you creating a video for YouTube? And we said, well, yeah. And then they asked, are you hikeaholics? We recognize your voices. And we were so like heartwarmed <laughs> and yeah, it was absolutely amazing. It was, it was really crazy because they actually said, yeah, we saw your Chamonix video and you're the reason we here. But really things like this make our day and we love to inspire people in the way that we did for Caddy and David. So if you ever see us on a trail, please come over, say hi to us, say like give us feedback. We really want to meet you on the trail. Yeah, and if you're watching this Caddy and David, it was really nice seeing you. It gave us an extra boost to continue making these videos. Thank you. So from our most memorable moment to our easiest hike. The easiest hike for us this year was the hike in the Chamonix Mont Blanc Valley named Petit Bocon Sud. I think you can tell but we fell in love with the Chamonix area. There are hikes for every level of hiking experience and even the easiest hike have rewarding views. Yeah, as an example, the Petit Bocon Sud, like a letter said, there is no technical part, there is no physical demanding, climbing or declining. And during the whole hike, you have an amazing view on the Mont Blanc Massif. And last but not least, the best surprise of Mother Nature. Without a doubt, the best surprise last year was seeing the Northern Lights. Yeah, we were four days into the Kungslede and everybody was telling us how special the Northern Lights are. And by then we weren't lucky enough to see it yet, unfortunately. Now, and that night we camped near the Aksa SCF hut and the skies were clear. It was minus six degrees Celsius. Everything was freezing, but we were 100% sure we would see the Northern Lights. Well, let the footage speak for itself. We had an absolutely incredible 2022. From living in the beautiful Chamonix area during winter and hiking the Tour de Mont Blanc around one of the highest mountain ranges in Europe, to seeing reindeer, the northern lights and vast landscapes in Sweden. We met some amazing people as well and we loved every single second of it. Thanks for watching our 2022 recap. Hopefully you are inspired to go outdoors yourself. If you want to see more behind the scenes footage, get in close contact with us or simply want to support us, we would be really grateful if you could consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description of this video. Your support means a lot to us and helps us continue making gear reviews and hike videos and video like this for you. Now let us know in the comments what your favorite hike or moment was from last year and we are looking forward to reading your answers. See you in the next video. Bye! Bye bye!